Okay, the final thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to animate our character. So to do that, uh, just click on Google Chrome. Um, and I'm just going to click the plus tab up in the top here. And I'm type in M-I-X, oops, M-I-X, A-M-O, Mixamo. Type in Mixamo. Mixamo. And this is the first, should be your first hit right here, right at the top. So Mixamo is right there. Just click on that. Um, and it will ask you to sign up for free. So you just need to click on that. Uh, and I'll just quickly go through. So I'm just going to do that neat. Oops, lot. Address. Uh, hit N. Oops, N lot. SD20.net. Password is whatever I want the password to be. Um, Canada, date of birth. I am going to go October 13th, 1976, way down here, right there. And no, I don't want them to contact me, so I'll just click sign up. And this should sign me into my new Mixamo account. So there it is, ready to go. So I click accept. Okay, once you are inside the Mixamo account, it'll, you'll be greeted with this screen. You can essentially search up any animation. Um, so you can see there's like, uh, I don't know, there, there's hundreds of animations you can choose from really. There's 48 per this page, but you can type in anything. Like let's just type in uh, dance. Let's type in dance and there's a dance. There's a robot dance, we'll use that one. Okay, so what I need to do is upload character. So I click on upload character here, and it says which file type do you want to upload, FBX, OBJ, or zip. Okay, so what we want to do is we need to go to our, here's our JSON folder, if you recall. I'm going to click on that. And inside the JSON folder, I have the Vox file, which I do not need. I do not need that file. I want these three files right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight them. I'm going to highlight all three files. I'm going to right-click them, okay, and I'm going to go down to uh, where it says compress three items and that's going to squish them down into a uh, zip file. So I'm going to say compress and you can see here's the zip file right here. It's put all three files inside this little file called archive. Uh, and what all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that out and I'm going to put it right there and release and that should upload my JSON character. Okay, there's the front of JSON. Um, now I can turn him sideways but I want, I want the, you want the front of your model. I'm going to click next. Now I'm going to put the chin in, so we put the chin right about where Jason's chin would be. I'm going to put the wrists in, so I'm going to put the wrists right around there on Jason. I'm going to put the elbows in Jason right about there, the knees in him right there, and I'll put the groin right about there. Okay, um, this is all good here. Don't touch any of that. Click next. Now this part can take up to two minutes to do as it kind of rigs your animation. But essentially what it's doing um, is it's placing points here and in those uh, wrists, uh, elbows, and, and other areas uh, so you can actually animate your character and do all these movements you see here. So we're just going to wait a little bit here uh, and once it's done rigging your character you should be able to access all of these over here and you just, it's really easy, all you do is you click on the one you want and then it will animate your character um, and they will do whatever you want. So uh, the really cool thing about this program is once you've got like animations, like you got like a walk, oh, there we go, he's ready to go. Click next, and it should load him up here. Um, he's just standing there, so let's do a robot hip hop dance. You just click on that, and there he is. He's going to do a robot hip hop dance for me. Pretty cool. He's actually doing it pretty well. Nice. Um, you can change some stuff here. Uh, now the cool thing about this is once we get like our animations, we can bring this into Unity and we can actually create a controller and start to walk our character around. Okay, hopefully this has been helpful and in the next uh, videos we will bring our character into Unity and start to get them controlled.